pillows and the eggnog's gone. Hallelujah, everybody say cheese. Merry Christmas from the family. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today's video I'm really excited for because it's going to be a DIY little ornament, well not ornament, I guess decoration and it would actually make a really good gift for someone that likes horses for Christmas or just to make for yourself. So this is a horseshoe dream catcher and I kind of came up with like the idea I mean I saw pictures of them before but I was never able to find a tutorial so I did kind of come up with it myself like I watched how to make a normal dream catcher and then I just kind of translated it over onto a horseshoe <laughs> so it's pretty easy keep in mind it's easier to do than it looks than the finished product and all you really need is a horseshoe some string and scissors that's like your necessities but if you want you can also add beads throughout it and then obviously whatever you want hanging from the dream catcher you know feathers whatever you want like that i'm not going to show that part i'm just going to show you how to make the actual dream catcher part because you can really just go wild and do whatever you want with the with the bottoms so yeah let's get going Okay, so I have my horseshoe. Actually, I have my horseshoe. I also have some string. I'm gonna make this kind of wintry themed since it is winter. And then I just have some white beads here. Mine are pretty plain. I I don't know. I, I prefer things to be more simple, so I usually have a more simple design to my dream catcher. So, the first thing you want to do is simply get your string and take off the wrapper. Basically, I just find the end and, oh, this is, I am like not the most crafty person. This is like pretty much the, ex actually, I shouldn't say this is the, quite the extent of it. Anyways, just get some loose. You don't need a ton of string. So this is the horseshoe. You're gonna take your string. I now have this facing me. I'm gonna try and make this easy to see. Um, but yeah, you're not gonna quite see it from my perspective. So just think of this kind of backwards, I guess. So you're gonna take the edge, wrap your string around the edge about like, I don't know, however many inches from the pop that would be. You can see. You're just going to tie a really simple knot. It doesn't matter what type of knot you tie as long as it's secure. So I'm just gonna tie it in a knot. Okay. So from this point, it's just tied there. You're gonna bring it across to this side. So about like the same place on the other side of the horseshoe. And I just cut my string off somewhere. I know I cut it, I always cut like way more string than I actually need, but you're gonna just tie the exact same knot on that side so just a simple knot and I'll do two knots to make it super secure so I am doing this facing you this is like backwards to how you normally do it but I think like you might be able to see what I'm doing better so from there you're gonna take your string down and just put it around and through itself so that it looks like that. You can totally choose yourself how big you want to make these spaces. 
So you might want to start a little bit bigger and then go slow, smaller. So I'm going to turn this towards myself again because I find it a lot easier. And you're just going to do the exact same thing. So bring your string down around the horseshoe in its own little circle that you made and tighten it. So you can see the outer ring of the dream catcher is forming and then I like to make it even on both sides but you really can do it however you want you don't have to do it any uniform type of way so once you are back to the top you've gone all the way around just put your string around like where you started and do another little knot so you're putting it just through all that little space and you're pulling it tight so this is the part that I would say would be the most difficult because overall like this is pretty easy so when you get back to the top and it's just the string here this is probably the most hardest part all you have to do is take your string and do the exact same thing around pretend that this is an extension of the horseshoe so you're just around in the hole and then you have formed a little the only difference is you can't see the hole as much but once you get back to it and you'll be pulling it like that you will be able to see it so after that so once you've done that you just go around the horseshoe again on the other side where you have your first thing there and I'm gonna start to add some beads to mine and uh, once I'm well maybe I'll go through this so now to start adding on and getting smaller so now you have like your first original ring around your horseshoe what you do to get the little spots is to go through the hole you made and just around so like that I'm gonna add a little bead so to add a bead all you have to do is grab one so just like little like pearl type beads that I have but you can literally use any bead so you just um, string it through your thread or string your thread through the bead whatever you want to say it's going down to the horseshoe so now you have a little bead on it so what you do from here again simply you're putting your string through the hole and then back through that circle that you just made. I hope that I'm saying this in a way that you can understand. So again, once you get here, through the hole and then back through the hole that you just made. And you're doing the same thing through the hole and back through the hole. So once you get to the ones that are at the top, you're doing the exact same thing. So you, you can find your little hole that you threaded, put this through it, and through your new hole. And there you go. And the exact same thing over here. So you're putting it through the hole you threaded, back through the hole that you you just created I literally should be able to be doing this better than I the angle is like kind of funny because I'm trying to make it easy to see it so now you're looking like this you really just continue going on so and you can skip them too, like if you feel like it would look better if you skipped this hole, you can totally do that. And then when I get to the bead, what I do is I just bring it to one side or the other, 
and then that's where I separate the little hole so it's like that you can get here through the hole again and through the hole you just made once I get here I'm gonna add another little bead so I'm just gonna put this down I'm gonna grab another bead it's like dog hair everywhere thread it through So now I've got this, and then I'm just going to go on to my next little spot, and back through. Through the hole, and there you go. I'm gonna add one more bead up on the top here. So you're just threading it through. And you're going through the hole you made earlier back through the hole that you're just making now. Then, through this hole, back, through this one, and back. through this one and back through once it gets quite small it, it is definitely a little harder to see well it, it gets a little bit more tedious like the smaller your sections get this is going to be my last section because I like to have the beads kind of in so after you bring it back on itself all you're gonna do is just tie it again onto that string so I just put it back through the hole and back through the hole again and you can even do it like three times if you want to make it like really secure but like that's a pretty good knot and then um after that I just take my scissors and I have like a lot of extra thread oh my goodness cut that somehow okay so from here all you have to do to make like a little handle is just put some thread like tie some thread there right there and it'll stay like that now I always hang my horseshoes like this instead of this because superstition says if you have it like this all the luck falls out but if you have it like this all the luck stays in and uh, I've made a ton of these so you can definitely go pretty in depth with them I will add some pictures of some more intricate ones that I've done but this is like a really simple one and it's kind of wintry themed and I just really wanted to show you guys how to do it because I've never seen a tutorial for these specifically. So I wonder if I can have like a better background to show you what it looks like so you can focus. But yeah, so they're just really cool little decorations. Um, I've given them to like all of my family and they're really fun. So yeah. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching me make this decoration. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, make sure that you send me a like and comment. Subscribe if you want to see more. 
and I will see you guys tomorrow. So happy holidays. Hallelujah, everybody say cheese. Merry Christmas from the fam.